Hello, it's Guy's Night, I'm, and we're playing Boyd Salad. Not that we chose that, uh, we had a little one here with us that was choosing the game tonight, and she picked Boyd Salad, and unfortunately, she, it's for bedtime, so she's not here to join us. But And she won. And she won, of course. So, um, we're going to be reviewing Point Salad today. This is one from a few years back. Mm -hmm. It came out in 2019, so oh. it sounds like last year, but I think it came out two Gen Cons ago. So yeah, I, think I was going to say, was, I think it, it was, was older 20, than that. It was 2018, but it was probably released a mass market in 2019. Yeah, and this is a very simple card game. My daughter's six, and she loves this game. She, she wanted to play it. And, and she was good at and it. And she beat us badly. Uh, I think she almost doubled our score. Pretty much. Our combined score, yeah. she got pretty much the total. Uh, but basically, it's a simple game where you have stacks of these simple vegetables. There's six different ones. Onions, lettuce, carrots, tomatoes, peppers. and peppers, and cabbage. cabbage. Yeah, pretty much nothing I would eat. Right. And um, these are put into a display of six by three, uh, or sorry, two by three, and making six cards that you can... Uh, choose from and then the stack is available but it's face down with the, the back side of the card which actually has your scoring capabilities on it so you either are going to take one card that gives you the scoring each turn or you're going to take two from the tableau that will contribute towards your scoring and that's all there is to straight it straight up set collection yeah that's and then you do have the option once per turn of taking one of your scoring cards that you don't think you're going to be able to get any value from and flipping it to its vegetable, vegetable side. side so it gives you a little flexibility during the game um so as far as uh first thing we always start with is quality of pieces if i recall yeah um the cards themselves are if I recall, I'm going to have a sleeve pretty much right away. They're decent. They, they're yeah, a little they, flimsy, they got, but they have but they texture. The yeah, they got the texture to it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the thing is, is I knew we were going to be shuffling these a lot. So mm -hmm. I went ahead and uh, sleeved them right away. I would highly recommend that. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing really horrible about the cards. And there's really no other components to review. Yeah. It's just the cards. Other than that, it's a tray to hold them. Um, so as far as the quality of this, there's not a whole lot to discuss here, but I'm going to say, what, maybe it's a seven. I agree with, yeah, that's exactly what I thought was a seven because it's good card quality. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not, it's not really good thickness, but with sleeves, it's perfectly fine. We've played this many, many times and it's held up with sleeves. I wouldn't play it without sleeves. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, as far as the next would be what? Theme? Theme? Rules, 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 rules. The rules are very, very, very simple. The game's so simple that it would be terrible if the rule books. Yeah, if, I mean... <laughs> if you can't read these rules and understand the game, then... Within you, one playthrough. Within a playthrough. You, you probably want to give up gaming. I, I mean, mean the only reason why we look it up is based off the number of uh, players, you have to remove a certain number of vegetables from each uh, vegetable type. Yeah. And that's the only part we don't remember. Yeah, I mean, it's big print it's got pictures so i mean there's nothing wrong with this yeah. rule book it's not there's you don't need a cheat sheet in this game it's nope. so basic so i don't know i give it a nine on the rules i, I agree mean, there's a, yeah it'd be nice to have a little art i mean it's kind of lame art but um as far as theme <laughs> It's vegetables. I mean, it there's could no, literally be anything. There's, I mean, you're yeah. set collecting stuff. In this case, it's vegetables. Yes, and they're very cartoony. I mean, I mean, it's cute. It's cute. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's and I, I you know, the, the idea is the, it's a point salad game, so therefore they call it point salad. So yeah, you it's, get it? You see what yeah, I did there? Yeah. So I mean, I, it, I guess you could say <laughs> they couldn't choose another theme that would go better with the point salad. Although I don't really. I guess you could put all those ingredients in a salad. I would never put tomatoes in a salad or cabbage. Well, just like dash, kind of diced cabbage, maybe. Most people put these vegetables in a salad. In a salad right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I want to see you I, put red I, onion in a salad. I didn't say I would eat it. I said most people put it in Rob, a salad. Rob is deathly afraid I of these. So if you onions. ever meet Rob at Gen Con, make sure you bring him some red oh, onions because he loves them. I'll barf on you. Yeah, don't bring my wife any of these because yeah, she's, allergic. she's allergic to I'm them. I'm not allergic. They just taste nasty. She will explode if you come near her with these. Um, so, yeah, as far as theme, because of the fact that it's point salad and it goes with the name, I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven on that as well. Uh, yeah, it's it's clever. It's a play yeah. on words, and, and it's fun. Yeah, I mean, other than that, there's absolutely no, no. reason this couldn't be robots or swords or... 
uh, exploding penguins. It really kinds, doesn't matter. Different kinds of dung beetles. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, matter. there's nothing with absolutely nothing to do with the gameplay. Right. This is going to be the fastest we get through one of these things. <laughs> uh, as far as gameplay goes, super easy. Super easy, super fun. I mean, it's for kids. It's not something I, if I'm personally going to pick a game out, it's not this game. Right. I mean, it's, but. I mean, I'm shocked that it says it's for 14 and above. Yeah, that absolutely this, doesn't need to be. Absolutely not. I mean, again, Sarah, uh, Randy Miranda's daughter, six years old, easily picked it up. Yeah. Uh, and so, and I think any six year old. I'm could guessing think they thought carrots were phallic symbols. That's the only <laughs> reason I came up with a 14 on this. There's absolutely no reason. I didn't get that, but okay. Hey, <laughs> you play your game, I'll play mine. All we know. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this I mean the, the gameplay is it's it's good for a light mm -hmm. game. It's good for introductory game. It's not something that's heavy. So it's the perfect game to end a game night. Uh, so it's super light, super easy. It's fun. Just knock it out, and it's you know you get depressed from playing Battle Star. This is a good way to end the game. So, anyway. <laughs> This, yeah, this is like, it's it's 15 to 30 minutes, it says. It's probably, that, yeah, most yeah, of that is set up. Yeah, uh, oh yeah. I, I, <laughs> we played the game in, what, five, ten minutes? Maybe, maybe yeah. long. Yeah, I mean, it's that's really quick. That's a six-year-old kicking our butt. Yeah, um, and maybe that's why she kicked our butts. Maybe. maybe. So, anyway, th yeah, there, this is, I, I'm going to give this one, as far as it's very basic, but for what it is, it's probably an eight. It's, and, and we'll definitely be playing this again. So. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> no, I, 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 it's it's probably an eight as far as gameplay. It's not my cup of tea, so it's don't listen to my review because I'm I'm stupid. But no, I, as true, far yes. as the the gameplay, it, it's very enjoyable. It's appealing to a lot of people that mm -hmm. have come over. It's not something I would personally prefer to play. I like playing it just because it's one of those games that's because it's so easy to teach. People who don't like to play games, they're probably going to like this game. Yeah. Just because it's so easy to play. And I do like the fact that I can include my daughter in it. Because yeah. there's, you know, at six, it's hard to find a game that you can include her in. You know, there's that some basic everyone ones. can enjoy. And she could be strategically yeah. playing. I mean, it's one thing if she's just there doing the motions. But she actually is involved. She's thinking out her moves. And it's a good introductory game for mm -hmm. a young one like that. So, from that standpoint, I'm going to give it an eight. I agree. It, eight. It, 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 yeah, an eight. So... Nothing beyond, it really can't get more than an eight because there's nothing more to the game than that. So, so. Do you want to mispronounce some names for us? Um, sure. So we got the designers. So it's Molly Johnson, Robert Melvin, and Sean Stankwich. And the artist is Dylan Mangini. So I'm assuming that's how you spell your name, Dylan. And now it's spell it? Or pronounce it. See, there you go. I messed it up for you. I'm and, good. I'm, as long as you make a mistake right. at least once during at the least. video, that's all I care about. And we got it published by AEG. So. Yeah. So uh, that's our rundown of Pot oh, yeah. Salad. Uh, if you would like to hear more from us, subscribe, follow along, hit that bell put button, some, uh, ring the bell, all put some comments stuff. in, all the stuff that you hear from uh, my wife every time when we play, do Compare these things. my hair to Randy's hair, whatever you want to do. So. <laughs> my lack thereof. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thanks.